my eldest brother was born out of wedlock, mm. or as he loved to tell people, he was a bastard. Um, uh, and my father not only didn't marry my mother, but the family's suspicion was that he immediately joined the army. Really? The moment that he knew he had got this young woman pregnant. Well, I think you might be interested to have a look at this. This is a, a later sheet from the service record, but what it shows is the date of birth of his children, including Geoffrey. 28th of January, 1925. So actually two weeks before he joined the army. One has to assume there was a connection. A lot of people did join the army to, to, to escape something or other. Yes. Maybe the actor in me is inclined to see that as a dramatic and perhaps desperate gesture. Whether he intended to escape or not, Alfred did eventually return to Murfield and married Gladys in 1933. By this time, he'd been promoted to the rank of Lance Corporal in the Regimental Police. The job of a Regimental Policeman is a very interesting one, very unusual one as well. What he would have been doing was working actually within the regiment, within the battalion, making sure that people were, were properly dressed, that they weren't drunk, they weren't playing cards for money. You were then the prison guard as well. You had a great deal of power. And one of the byproducts of having this power was that very often the regimental police were very, very unpopular. Ah. Would they be feared at all by the ordinary soldier? Yes, they would. They would. Mm -hmm. You probably only get that role if you were quite an intimidating person. Well, all of that uh, merges with a picture that I'm, by first-hand experience, very familiar with. When his seven-year term of service was over, Alfred returned to civilian life. But at the beginning of World War II, he was recalled to the army. He joined a territorial battalion of the King's Own Yorkshire Light Infantry, known as the Coily. Now aged 34, he was one of the most experienced soldiers in the unit. Your father's battalion, the, um, the second fourth, was raised just about the, the, the time of the outbreak of war. Um, the fact is that they, they, they never even got to know each other, the members of the battalion, because almost as soon as they were raised, they were all sent all over the place to do guard duty, and it meant that they never received any training. Um, no military training? Very, very little. And this is one reason why your father would have been essential, because, you know, at least he could have given some ad hoc training here uh -huh. and there. You uh -huh. know, basically told people how to march, told people how to drill, because they weren't receiving very much. Despite their lack of training, Alfred's battalion received orders to go to join the British Expeditionary Force in France. Norway and Denmark had been occupied by the Nazis. Now, the British Expeditionary Force, along with the French, Belgian and Dutch, were preparing for a German invasion of France and the Low Countries. The plan was for the Coily to play a support role far behind the front line. Your father's battalion they weren't going to go into battle. They were going to effectively be pioneers. They were going to do a lot of digging. They were going to build railways. That was the sort of thing they were going to be doing. Uh, they're not well equipped, for example. They had about a third number of brain guns they were supposed to have, but it was going to be all right because they weren't supposed to be fighting. Right. On the 27th of April, 1940, Alfred and the rest of the battalion arrived in France by boat. Their task was to help build a vast transport network for moving stores and ammunition around France. Whatever I find out, about his time in the army is going to be illuminating because it was having left all that behind him that made him at times a pretty unhappy individual. Emma Stafford was born 10 years before it became a legal requirement to register births. So the only way John can discover who Emma's real parents were is if she was baptized.